Hey guys, it is me and Stace. For today's video, we're going to be applying heat transfer vinyl to an apron using a heat press with the design I found inside Design Space. So you want to go to your computer, go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password and then click on sign in. On this page, we're going to scroll down until we get to the iron on section. Then click on view all. I did like a lot of these designs as far as the one that say coffee and caffeine, but I think they're too wide for an apron. So I did find one earlier that is thinner that we're going to alter a little bit. All right, the one I'm using is this one here. It says, feed me latkes and tell me I'm beautiful. Go ahead and click on that. It'll bring up a preview window. Click on customize. Now on this one, I do want to exchange the word latkes for the word cake and also the menorah for a piece of cake. So left hand side toolbar, we're going to click on images. In the search box in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to type in the word cake and then click on enter. And you want to find a cake image that you can cut out in vinyl. Like I think this one here will be way too difficult. So I'm looking for a clean cake image. So we have that one there that I like. We also have the piece of cake. I think I'm going to use this one here. And now I want to find the word cake. And I like this one here that says let's eat some cake. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Bottom right hand corner, click on insert images. So as far as this grouping, all I want here is the word cake. So I'm going to right click on it and choose ungroup and then separate the pieces I'm not going to use and remove them. Now this one, you can see that word cake is attached to the cake here. So what we want to do is hide contour that, have that piece selected, bottom right hand corner of design space, click on contour, then just click on the cake pieces to hide those. Click on the X to close it out and that leaves us with the word cake. I'm going to go up top to change the color. All right, so we have that word here. Now what I want to do is bring this over this board just to get an idea of sizing. All right, and also my cake piece here, just to kind of give me an idea. Now to remove the word lockers or the menorah, what we want to do on this image is right click on it and choose detach. And you'll see it kind of separates each layer of text. So I can remove that one and delete it. Take this part away and remove that one as well. Then bring in my word. So my word cake goes there and this cake goes here. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. I think the word cake here is pretty close to the word beautiful, so it looks like it kind of all goes together. I think I might make my word cake though be a tad bit smaller. And my cake maybe be a tad bit bigger. Just kind of playing around with it. All right, I think I'm happy with that, with the way it looks. Now I'm gonna take my left mouse button across everything all together. Top toolbar, click a line, and I'm gonna click on a center horizontally so everything lines up in the center. I'm going to right click on it again and choose attach. This way when I cut it out, it'll all stay as one piece. The finish size of this design is 4.5 in the width and a little bit over 8 inches for the height. Upper right hand corner, click on make it. Now because I am using heat transfer vinyl, I do want to mirror the image. So I'm going to check the mirror image box over here. And just move it out of my way a little bit. I'm going to click on continue, cut this out with a heat press and put it on our apron. Alrighty guys, here we are with our apron. It's just, it's just your standard two pocket apron. I did go ahead and take the straps out to remove some of the bulk. And with the design, I actually had a really hard time cutting this out. I had to piece it together so you can see here the words and tell me I'm um, is actually a separate piece because I was tearing right there. All right, so we're gonna see how this fits here. Now I probably could have made this a little bit bigger but I think I'll be okay with it here. So what do you think? Right, super cute. I do like it. I think it all looks really nice. I just go to the heat press and we'll press this onto our apron and see how it looks. Alrighty guys, it is me. I do apologize. The camera I'm using does not fit on my tripod mount, so I need to do this one-handed and share with you guys the process. So my heat press is heated to 305 degrees. I have my apron here. The first thing I'm going to do is just do a quick uh, pre-press on it. Just a few seconds, just to get you know, just to get any moisture out of the apron. All right, I'm gonna pull this out, and I am gonna use one of my um, pillow presses behind it, just to lift up the center a little bit. All right, put our design on here, and again, I need to do this one-handed, so hopefully, I can be straight and all that good stuff. So we're just gonna kind of eyeball it here. The seam of my apron on the very top is not straight, so I really can't go by that. If I use my t-shirt guide, 
and line it up, you can see that it's kind of crooked. And if I lay this here, I can easily see this is crooked for sure. So we're not going to be using that. So we just need to eyeball it. I got this apron off of um, jiffyshirts.com. I'm going to come down a little bit. I don't want to be that far up. All right, so I think, what do you think? Do you think we're straight? There's a dog hair there. Okay. So I think we're okay. If we're crooked, it's an apron. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our Teflon sheet down. Go ahead and close this up. And we're gonna do the full time of 12 seconds. I'm not gonna clamp it, I'm just gonna put firm pressure down on it. And my heat press is the kind that has the magnet in it. Now you can tell if it's on there by seeing the fabric through. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can see. I can see some of the fabric through that. I'm just going to give it another quick press. I always like pressing things twice just to kind of lock it in there, I guess. And again, just for about maybe five seconds. Okay. So we are good, and I think I think I might even be straight. All right, let's go to the table, and we're gonna put the straps in and see how the apron looks. All right, guys, sorry about that. Like I said, my camera does not fit on my tripod mount, but I think overall, I think it looks pretty good. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put the straps in. So I feed it from the top. They're pretty stiff straps, so they should be just fine going down there without using a pin or anything. I just want to pull it enough to where I can reach in there with my fingers. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and flatten all this out. Make sure our neckline still is good. Okay, the neckline is good. All right, so what do you all think? All right, pretty simple. I think we probably could have went a little bit bigger on the vinyl, but it's on there. I'm gonna wait to check as you can see the texture of the fabric under the vinyl. And I can definitely see that, so I know it's gonna be on there for good. All right guys, there you have it. A really simple um, Cricut Design Space project sharing with you guys how to customize a design already there and exchanging it for words that you might use or words that you like better. Um, any questions guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.